What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back the day after extremely disappointing result, you know, you can be, I don't know, 6th, 7th in the table uh, past tonight and for some that, you know, is very worrying, uh, but we, we, we struggle to win games, uh, that's the massive worry, um, and to top it off, we actually look like we're closer to losing games right now than winning games, you know, and I like Thiago Mota, and again, that's not me. This is not me saying get rid. It failed, whatever. But I need to look at you, and I need to blame you uh, at this moment in time for the current situation of our performances because they're going down, down, down. So that's what we're gonna talk about post game. He said probably he said the first time I listened to a Thiago Mota post game, and I was like, Nah, man. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't agree with what you're saying. I haven't seen that really. Uh, I agree with certain parts, but one part I was like, no, I don't agree with that. So before we get into it and the player ratings, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's talk about, you know, blaming Thiago Mota for things and how they're going. Okay, so like I said, it's it's going down. It's it's going bad, bad. We're closer to losing games than winning games right now. We haven't lost in the league, but we're getting closer to losing a couple of games rather than winning the games because that's that's the reality of it. If you watch the last recent uh, performances in the league, now usually I agree with po with, with with post match Mota whatever. This is probably the first time I was listening to it and I was like. Nah, man, you know, I agree with you, with him saying that we leave too much space, we lose the ball, we create our own issues, that they can counter us way too easy, I agree 100%, but that's on you to fix, you need to find a solution because we don't have Bremer, what I don't agree with was him saying, we played well in moments, we didn't play well, there was no moment in that game I was sitting in front of that TV and I was like, mm, actually, we're playing well, we were not playing well. Like, there was no moment we were playing well. It felt chaotic. It felt all over the place. It felt like we had absolutely no control at any moment in time throughout those 90 minutes. For me, that's not playing well. I criticize Allegri for individual brilliance. That's what we're trying to do right now. We don't have solutions. Everything that we did early on in the season or tried to do is gone. You know, it's, it's, very, it's very rough to watch. And especially because we, we're not solid. You know, you, you know the stats, seven goals conceded in the league since Bremer went down, zero obviously when he was there. You cannot replace Bremer, but you need to find a solution because this is not the way. This is going to go really south if we play like this, if there's no consistency. There's also no consistency in what we do. You know, players may be inconsistent, but the performances are extremely inconsistent. You know, I'm looking at that midfield and I'm like... It's still a massive problem. We still cannot control games. There's still not enough quality individually. Performance-wise, it's not good enough. That's just the reality of it. And tough games are coming up. It, you need to find the solution. And the solution, I know, like I'm not an idiot. It's not there for the taking. It's not, oh, we just need to do this and it's solved. That's not the issue right now. We do not look like a solid team. That's a fact. Now, let's go into the player ratings. I gave Di Gregorio a 7 purely because, well, he was the reason we didn't lose that game at the end. That's, that's basically it. Um, the first goal, he couldn't save. That second one, I'm not sure what that was. I I think I, I had a feeling Danilo was going to get that ball. I think Di Gregorio, I, when I was watching, I was like, yeah, Danilo has that, and for some reason he backs down, and I think even Di Gregorio was kind of surprised with that, um, and we can see that second one, but, you know, at the end of the day, he's also the reason we didn't concede the third one, that's it, so, uh, seven, and maybe that's even pushing it, but whatever, I guess, uh, Cabal, six, maybe five and a half, I don't think he was poor, I don't think he was good, he didn't offer a lot today, uh, or yesterday, it was just in there, and when he got subbed, I think everyone was like, yeah, cool, because there was no real impact, so maybe a five and a half, got uh, Kalulu, that should have been Gatti, obviously, uh, that's how uh, pissed I am recording this video, uh, obviously Gatti, five and a half, you know, we can see it to, didn't have a horror game, but wasn't good as well, we need to be honest, that, that wasn't good, that wasn't a good performance, Danilo, I'm just giving him a one every time he plays because at this moment in time, Mota, this is on you. You have blood on your hands. If you want to play Danilo, everybody can see it. Even the biggest Danilo supporters are seeing 
that he's costing us moments, key moments. He's rubbish. You know, at one point, he just kicked out the ball for a corner kick, and I'm not even sure why. Like, he needs to be checked, you know, for a concussion or something, because that was... That's probably the weirdest thing I've ever, a player I've, I've seen a player do. You know, we just kicked him out for a corner kick, and I was like, why? Like, actually, why? Like, what was the reason? So, insane, insane player, you know, and uh, quality-wise, absolutely embarrassing, you know. But it's a motto. You want to play him, you're going to you're gonna deal with it, and you're, he's going to cost us a lot of games and moments. That's it. Cambiasso, I'm going to be harsh, four and a half. Uh, that was not good. In the second half, it was better. But in that first half, man, I'm sorry. I'm not going to forget that. You were the reason Parma were having chances because you were giving the ball away time and time and time and time again up to a point where I was like, oh, my God, take him off, you know, because that was ridiculous. And even though the second half was better, like, I'm not going to forget that first half. That was that was absolutely dreadful. And probably the poster boy of... oh. We're not ready to play this game. We look lackluster. We look without ideas. We look not fit. We we don't look up for it. That was just a poster boy for that performance. So four and a half. Locatelli, six and a half. I know people will kill me. I thought he played well. You know, especially, you know, in that second half, he got better. And I was was looking at him. I was like, you're probably the only player uh, playing up to a certain level. Uh, The other ones were not getting. So six and a half. McKenny six and a half. I don't think he played better than Locatelli, but he got the goal. He got the goal. I think he was kind of missing in that midfield at times. Um, but he got the goal. So, yeah, six and a half. But the impact is, for me, on that midfield is not good enough. And not just him, you know, the midfield as a whole. It's not good enough to keep a hold of a game, you know. And for me, that, that's extremely worrying. Uh, Turam, five. Could be even less. I don't know. At times, I was like, who? And then I was watching him for five minutes straight after that. Oh, good moment. And I was like, oh, bloody hell. That's that's kamikaze football he plays. At times, it feels like he is carrying the ball like it's a bomb. And it's going off. And he needs to deliver that some, I don't know, somewhere safe. You know, where nobody gets hurt. But just him. At times, he's losing the ball because he's tripping over it. You know, it's not looking good for him. Um, I thought against Inter was okay when he came on, but that was a, a small spell. You know, today was, like I said, it's like, it's kamikaze football. It's like it can go south any given time, you know, with him. It, it's so weird. Like, it's it's so weird to watch, and it looks clumsy. So, uh, five, Konsensawa, six and a half. Like I said, individual brilliance, assist. Anything that needs to happen needs to happen because of him at this moment in time because he's starting. And if not, then, yeah, we are probably not going to do a lot. That's just what it is. So, six and a half. Timothy Ria, six because of the goal. Other than that, I don't think he played well. Um, he's not a good defender. Um, and, again, he has so much speed, but he doesn't use that speed. So, I'm looking at him and I'm like, what is actually the point that you have that speed if you don't use that? If you cannot use that, then then what yes like then what can you do so very strange to me uh if he didn't have that goal that was a that was a bang average performance for me Vlaovic uh, three um I I I don't know how you missed that chance like I didn't know how you missed that chance against Cagliari I I have no clue like I rewatched it three times and I was like it was it was more difficult to get it over the bar like, I, I don't know. And for me, that was not even the biggest issue. The biggest issue is his touches yesterday. They were not touches. The ball came and he just put his feet out. And I was like, just let me touch the ball with my with my feet. And wherever it goes, it goes. And most of the time, it was going to the Parma players. You know, it, it's not even a controlled touch. It's just like the ball is there. I'm just going to put my feet out and just flick it like it, it's weird it's frustrating i want to say he needs a rest but there is no rest you know there, there is no other player who can back him up that's the, that's the issue right now so he's gonna play week in week out and if he's in a slop it will get worse you know because yes he needs a rest and he needs to sit on the bench but there is nobody else that's not on him that's on the club obviously um but right now like that performance like you, everybody knows that Lukaku Timberland boots meme. It's that. Like, it's just, it's a trampoline. And it's not even controlled. It's just, let me flick the ball. Let me touch the ball. And I'm like, come on, man. 
Like, what even is that? So three, Hildes came on six because he was creating some sort of danger. Uh, but, I mean, it was slow-paced for the team a lot of the times. It wasn't like against Inter where there was, you know, quick transitions. That was not the case. Um, and it was a lot of crosses into the box and so on, you know, uh, link-up plays. But, yeah, not the impact you probably would have imagined. Uh, Savona, Colt Miners, I'm giving them five and a half. Savona because I don't think he had a good like a bad game or so but like there's no impact and Colt Miners didn't play for a while and was still searching in my opinion but he brings something different because he plays much higher on the pitch uh, but obviously he's gonna need some time to get back into it that's just what it is and then Thiago Mota four um, I'm sorry like this is a six draw in the league it's too much you know forget about the table seven points behind Parma because like Cagliari should have won like these games you should be winning and if you want to think about the table then it's like three points what it should be you may be you know because you're not winning against bad teams that's that's a massive issue we do not look like we're gonna win games anytime soon it looks like we're losing games uh sooner than winning them uh and that's on you like at the back I know Bremer is out but that's not an excuse to look this poor um there are so many question marks and you have a lot of work again I'm not saying it's over. It's that I expected a lot of issues this season. So I'm not shocked, you know. But I need to talk about it. Because I've seen very good things. And they're all gone. So I'm like, what just happened? They cannot be all gone overnight. And overnight is a couple of weeks, I know. But that cannot be the case. It's on you to get back to that. And even better, you know. So four, because I don't think we also look prepared for those games. You know, we said... We know how Parma are going to play. We know how Stuttgart are going to play. But we didn't have solutions. So that's on you. These players are not going to figure it out on their own. So four, and we have a problem. Going into Dinese, I am absolutely not confident one bit that we win that game. Like, no, absolutely no confidence. I don't think we're going to win that game. Because I don't see how we're going to win games anytime soon. At this moment in time, there's nothing out there to suggest we're close to winning a game that's just the reality of it and let's see maybe they will surprise us on on saturday and they will actually ball out out of the blue and dominate a game again but right now we're not dominating games at all and uh, we're not close to winning games so that is a massive massive problem and that's on Mota. so let me know in the comments what you think like the video subscribe to the channel and i will speak to you guys tomorrow for a daily but also a live show uh, because we're going to preview with already Thanks for watching. See you. Ciao.